Hey guys, I'm LB. We're back here in the Talos Principle. This is the second episode, episode one. The first episode was episode zero, so if you haven't seen that already, go check it out. I have never played this game before. This is a blind playthrough, just a reminder. And, uh, yeah, last episode we ended by reading, uh, these three text documents. And, uh, looks like... Run MLA is something that we can do that we haven't done yet. What does this do? So this is like a an English interface. That's neat. Um What are these terminals? Terminals provide access to the library resource archive. What is the current status of the library archive? 47 million resources in Archive, taking up over 5 petabytes of disk space. Entire, the entire internet in 2003. <laughs> well, what, wait, what constitutes HD video if we know that this is past 2003? Because you would think that after a while, 720p would stop being considered HD, right? Majority of library resources are corrupted or invalid. 10 gigabytes of uncorrupted resources are indexed. Wow, that is... that is tiny con considering the petabytes that were originally there. Hmm... F. So does that mean that this is sometime in th in the 2030s, or is that just corrupted? And is that also corrupted for the the 9999E? Uh, what caused data corruption? Progressive data corruption is inevitable in any system over time. Additionally, a large number of inconsistencies were detected during sorting, leading to greater than average data invalidation. Well, there's there's some things you can do to mitigate that though unless this system was not being maintained, like like raid. If you have a good raid array of of disks or even like solid state drives or something, you can generally mitigate data corruption pretty well. But... Unless this has not been well maintained, or has been running for an extremely long time, and there's been simultaneous data corruption in, in the raids over the years, you know, flipped bits and whatnot with butterflies flapping their wings, I kind of find it hard that there would be that much data corruption unless this was just poorly maintained. Get out of this. Oh, press tab. Cool. Let's take our little doohickey with us. Remember, we found this in episode zero, and I decided to take it with me for, for our little journey. Are there any QR codes, by the way? Looks like we have to leave it here, unfortunately. I'm gonna miss you, little dude. Heh, <laughs> it's got those X'd out because I've already gotten them. Oh, and those too. Looks like I got everything in the first area, then. I hear stuff... 
Yeah, there's a robot over here running into one of the fizzlers, bouncing off of it. Let's see... Let's go for green first. Heh, <laughs> poking a sleeping lion. I understand. Let's see... Oh... If I take it from there, it's going to kill me for sure. There we go. Problem solved. Oh, interest is over here. Okay. I guess this one's next. Let's, uh. I guess that's Step into the right? light, child, and my temple will be revealed to you. Okay, didn't realize I was gonna trigger dialogue there. <laughs> Those guys are bouncing. Wait, didn't I hear? Yeah, I hear it over here as well. Why do I hear it over here as well? How do I get over there, though? Unless... Maybe I've already been there. Yeah, I, th I think that was the one from last episode, probably. I didn't realize that that would still be loaded memory. Those guys are having a heck of a time. Trio Bombastics. Ah, yes. I see what has to happen here. We've got our... Disruptor, our... What are they called? Jammer. Right. Item in my Steam inventory, apparently. I guess this game has item drops. There we go. There's that. Yeah, it X's them out on the signs once I get them. That's strange. Uh, I think we're done here then. What is that? Alright, oh, okay. So we've got everything then. Ones and zeros! <laughs> Achievement unlocked! Halls of his temple. You walk now upon the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Oh, so I don't have that one yet. Oh, and it added it to my screen now. That's cool. So... It's probably a good idea to do everything in order. What about this guy? Okay, good. Can't do anything in here yet, then. Wait, so I can only move quickly... forward? That's interesting. Why is there like, a little star next to it? This also has a star next to it. What does that mean? Oh yeah, weren't there... Aren't there, like, challenge stars or something? But I don't remember seeing one anywhere. I don't know. Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. But the Great Tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. So far, death has just rewound everything.
I think you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause of network problems is holding insufficient account privileges. Please enter the admin password. Uh... Is it just admin admin? I guess it's gonna make me try all of these before I have an option to quit. Nope. Too many failed attempts. Wait, a new admin account, huh? That's... kind of... odd security. To prove you're not a bot. Um, I think I am a bot, though? Uh, okay, you will now be asked a series of inputs. To so here with data protection legislation, you must consent to have your responses used to develop a broad psychometric profile. Raw response data will be deleted immediately. Your profile will only be made available to other administrators. Uh... Time is a factor in system. Begin certification program? 2 plus 2 equals 4. Why is this objective reaction to this image? A face. What best describes a person? Walking through the desert and come across a thirsty traveler whose eyes bulge from slow dehydration. You have water, but you're not sure how far it is. The next oasis. Um. We receive a notification when part two has been generated. Interesting. Okay, so, we've got three new text. <laughs> One of them is an HTML. I don't know what EML would be, but HTML and TXT are existing file extensions I'm familiar with. So... Let's just go... top to bottom. Okay, this one says it's from 000, so it's th I guess the date must be corrupted or something. This one's from 2031. BCE, huh? Really? My first day at the Institute for Applied Nomadics. On the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Maybe they were just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling, I walk in, and right at the entrance, there's a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get it. Institute for Applied Nomadics. Ian. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Sarabhai shows up, smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym back when the Institute was founded, she says. Inan, Iapan, and Anapno. It all sounded stupid, but we didn't want just want to call it Ian because, well, that's a name. Then someone made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck. So we're officially called Ian, but if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name, I guess. I know, I know. Bloody geeks. After that conversation, I wasn't so scared anymore. Alright, what about Athena Analysis at HTML? Hmm, either this is not actually an HTML document, or there's just no CSS. Or JavaScript. Because this looks like a plain text document to me. Alright, note. Blot, novel's first sentence. She woke up in an impossible place, knowing nothing. Signifies more than the beginning of another amnesia-based mystery, though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as allegory. Rather, while taking the science fictional novus at the core of the narrative at face value, we should blah. Oh, there is a closing slash paragraph tag. Uh, I guess it is HTML then. But... Wait, no, wait a minute. No browser would ever display a closing tag unless it was escaped that way. That doesn't make any sense. 
Whatever. Note 2. Having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subjective, flawed, limited senses tell us, blah, social reality, belief, and objective reality, matter, come into conflict. I bet those are just normal hex codes and they would actually translate to real words, but I'm too lazy to decode them. Note 3. When, in Chapter 16, A Second Awakening in the Kingdom of Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the blah. Note 4. A more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of... Alright, let's open Talos Principle. Whether it is true that the Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or, as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus. What we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze, and had but one vein within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or toy, had all the essential properties of a man? He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, the tale of the... Sorry, indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If, then, a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Eh, I'm agnostic. I think humans and other animals are just biological machines. So, there's no debate there for me. But, other people have other beliefs, and I'm okay with that. Alright, where to next? We've only got like, three minutes before the end of the episode. So... How about let's go backwards from where we started. What is... Ooh! This is pretty. There's other islands. What happens if I go too deep? What? Can I actually just walk over there? Let's try it. In the beginning. Uh. Okay. So still have that. It just put me back here. I guess I cannot. But it's it started to say something before it rewound me. Let's try that one more time. I want to see if I can stop right before it resets me. But right as he's saying, in the beginning. Because they- I saw subtitles. In the beginning. Nope. It- it doesn't. Okay. I have to actually keep walking in order to hear the rest of that, I guess. Oh my goodness, my game's lagging, that's not good. Uh... Alright, well... Whoa, what was that sound? What was that sound? Interesting. I wonder if I'll ever need to jump for some reason. Oh, I can jump up this. That's good to know. Well, that's it for this episode, I guess. Because I'm not sure what to do next. What? There's a floating email message there. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, as always, if you hate the sound of my voice, I leave a dislike. It's up to you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!